guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is the first of many hopefully it will be a mukbang video and i'm thinking about posting this on a monday so welcome to mukbang monday with slim roche today i'm eating tzatzikis and if you're interested in my ted talk please keep on watching oh man what you're just ruining it you're look at my lips you're ruining it so take off my glasses we got tzatzikis that's what we are eating for our first official mukbang Y'all, I'm so thirsty. So I was about to film this. For, hold on, hold on. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? This is from Tzatziki's. Sponsor me. So I was about to eat this as soon as I got home. And then I realized I left my... SD card, like I have this whole thing with SD cards in it. I left it at my job. And I wanted to film, is that still in the park? Oh no. And I wanted to film a mukbang for you guys. I got this food specifically for the mukbang, so I had to go get it. Now I'm back. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Anyway, I'm feeling pretty good. I don't know if you could tell by my energy. Um, lately, I've been kind of feeling a little sick. You know, I like to claim it, but I was feeling a little. <clears throat> I was feeling a little under the weather. Like I feel like I had a little bit of everything going on. Then yesterday, like I went to the eye doctor, and it was like I had pink eye, and I was like, ew. I'm sorry, I got sick in my mouth. So that's why I'm wearing my glasses, because, you know, you can't wear your contacts when you got that or whatever. But it's clearing up. My eye don't look red anymore. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to be feeling better. Still parched. And I know I got a lot of this table in here. Let me, let me scoot y'all up just a little bit. It's better. So... I'm going to tell y'all what I ordered first. I ordered, this is what I always get when I go to Tzatziki's. And so I got my two Greek dressings because I don't like the little horseradish that comes with it. Um, I always ask for soft pita. And they wrap it up so it stay kind of warm. So I got some soft pita. It generally comes with a hard pita chip. But if you ask them for soft pita, you get four of these instead of one. So, you know. If you want to get a little upgrade to your meal for the free ski and then my rice comes in here so it's just like basmati rice really good and then they wrap your meat up too so it stays warm so i got my beef in here this is what it looks like so i'm gonna Ooh, that looks so good honey Y'all, if y'all want to know the key to my heart, if you want to take me somewhere to eat, ooh, Ashata, if you want to take me somewhere to eat, I will clean the plate at Tzatziki's every time. There has not been one time that I haven't cleaned my plate eating Tzatziki's to go or dining in. Let me give y'all a full view real quick before I make it, you know, let me make it look cute for y'all. So, that's what it that's what it looked like right now let me do it let's get a thumbnail okay so how i like to mix it all together and i usually don't like my food touching but this is like a nice mediterranean chipotle bowl so what i like to do first of all i like to get it off this parchment paper because usually when i eat I be going in and I be cutting up parchment paper. So I just put my hand right here and slide it off the salad like that right there. It's like a magic trick. Get all your goodies off the paper. So there you go. 
as trash. So we got our salad just kind of thrown. Oop, we got our salad kind of thrown in here. I like to throw my rice on the, on the side like that right there. Like that. And then when I'm eating it at home, I get my cooking scissors and I go ahead and cut my beef up. Because I don't like to be struggling during my meal trying to cut my meat. So just cut it all at once. And you'd be done with it. So, um, like I said, I tried to film this as soon as I got home. Still had a little daylight going on outside, you know what I'm saying? Um, but now we behind the ring light because, as you can see, my blinds are closed and the sun is down. So... All right. So good. Mm. All right. So that's what our food looking like. And I'm going to add some Greek dressing on it. Because then you got like a steak salad. A beef tender steak salad. And then you got your little rice and beef too. And I just drizzle this over all of it because it tastes so good. If you go to Tzatziki's, tell them Slim sent you. And if you want to give me a Tzatziki's gift card, you know, feel free to email it to me. A little e-gift card. <laughs> so, I'm going to check real quick because I sure did ask on Instagram to see if I can get some people to ask me some questions. Because I never, never know what to talk about. Well, child, ain't nobody probably done seen it. I suck at eating and talking because I don't like talking with my mouth full, but I guess that's what a mukbang is for. So, the next question, which I knew something about relationships is going to come up. And somebody asked, are you looking for a relationship? I mean, not to see barely. I ain't looking. I ain't looking. Barely. I'm just playing. Um, I keep tapping past it. Yep, that's the only other question I got. So, am I looking for a relationship? That's a very good question. I've been asking myself that question um, recently. Because you need to ask yourself questions. Make sure you know, you know where you at. So, I don't think I am looking for a relationship. I told my mama this the other day. However, I think I'm in a decent space to begin to get to know someone. I hope that makes sense. So, if you stick your soft Peter in this Greek dressing... It'll change your life. Um, so, yeah. I haven't had, people don't believe me, but I ain't never had no real boyfriend. Um, you know, in high school, I dated a few people behind my parents' back, which means we was just seeing me each other in the hallway at school and texting. Child, that was back in the day when you ain't had texting on your phone, but your friend did. And you would text the person you like on the bus ride home. And then right before you get off at your stop, you got to tell them, don't text this number no more because I'm about to get off the bus. Let me know in the comments if you ever done did that. Or if you, or if you too young and you always had text messaging on your phone but I say I ain't never had no real boyfriend before because I've never had a relationship where I like saw the person outside of um outside of school and then when I got in college I talked to a few people 
here and there, but we never, like, you know, committed to each other as boyfriend and girlfriend. Not saying because I didn't want to commit, but most times it'd be like the dude didn't want to commit or whatever. So, now being a whole adult and I ain't in college no more, it's hard out here for a pimp. It's hard meeting people, especially if you stay in the same town that you graduated college from, because it's just the same people. And I don't know about y'all, but I ain't interested in none of them. If I was, we probably would have talked in college. Like, and I mean, when I say that, I look at people's potential. So trust me, I done, I done went through the rosters of available people in this year's city. And, mm -mm. so, I tweeted, not tweeted, I posted something today. My friends be sending me these pictures of these fine men on Instagram. And I just be like, oh Lord, if you could make that somewhere in the world, you don't create these human beings, like, and they looking like that. When people send me stuff like that, it reminds me that child is plenty of fish in the sea. And quit focusing on the little pond in your state or in your city that you swimming in right now. Because all you got to do is wait for, um, wait for Jesus to meet <laughs> Let me stop messing with the Lord. All you got to do is wait on Jesus and the Lord going to send you. He won't send you everything you need. Mix with what you want. But, uh, yeah. I will say there is one person that I dated, um, which I done talked about this before, and I'd be like, I used to say, you know, um, uh, I ain't gonna say that, but there was one person I dated in high school that would be a good contender. Um, but you know, time changes. Like that Drake song? I don't even know the words. Um, but that's like. The only person. What am I talking about? Back to the question. Are you looking for a relationship? No. I, am I looking for friendship? Yes. I honestly, truly believe that the next person I call myself dating, like the next person... To call me, like, we commit to each other in a relationship, like, boyfriend and girlfriend. That gonna be my husband. Because I don't got time to be out here in these streets just, just playing. Uh-uh. We too grown. Um. So, yeah, I wholeheartedly believe that. So, I don't know where I'm going to meet him. I ain't know what he going to look like. But I know Jesus handcrafted him. Nice and slow for me. So, let me see if y'all left any more questions on here. So, I was thinking about maybe if y'all like this video um, and enjoy it. Hopefully y'all do. I ain't really know what I've been talking about this whole entire thing, so I have no clue what I'm entitled this. Um, but, ooh, my feet, my foot numb. But, I'm thinking about doing a series. Not you, Siri. A series. And 
it's gonna be like mukbang monday maybe i'll do it like the first monday out the month we gonna do mukbang mondays um if you don't watch this far child go in and subscribe join the gym squad My website has launched, so if you're interested in seeing more things Slimmer Shea, head on over to SlimmerShea.com. You can shop my outfits. Um, you can see my portfolio. You can sign up for the email list and subscribe. Which I ain't gonna blast y'all or bother y'all nothing. But I will be hosting like exclusive giveaways and stuff on my website through the subscription list. So join the gym squad. Y'all, my sister called me. <laughs> oh, ho, oh, brother. Ho, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, now. And I'm about done with my food. The pita chip good too though. But that soft pita be hidden. Well. There you have it. My first mukbang. Tzikis. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. If you're interested in me starting a new series called Mukbang Mondays, please let me know in the comments. I love you guys so much. Like, I can't even explain it. I'm super excited. By the time you see this, Curl Fest will be done over. But I'm really excited to meet a lot of you guys at Curl Fest ATL. That's all for this video, y'all. I love you. You don't watch this far. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like this video. Let's try to get this video to 200 likes if y'all want Mukbang Mondays to be a thing. That's all for this video. The next video you see, I should be healthy 100% in heaven sent. I'm just playing. Um, yeah. Love you guys. Never forget at the end of the day, without regrets, love yourself and be you to fall. Bye guys. Let me pack this back up so I can do the intro like I ain't ate nothing. Hold on. Sorry, that was the sandstorm remake.